Hello there. Over the last month, I've continued to meet business people around the place and I'm getting a good understanding of uh, where people's concerns are. I've also received a briefing on the Impex project and a bit of an understanding about how it'll be gearing up over the coming months. The NT Training Awards are open. Uh, nominations close on 2nd of May. If you know any outstanding apprentices or vocational students, people in training, please stop and think about them and nominate them for an award. Um, they're really the future workforce of the Northern Territory. I've also had a bit of a briefing on the Shell Prelude project. You may be aware that it'll be the world's largest offshore floating LNG plant when it's established. I'm pleased to say that the project has chosen the East Arm Industrial Park as its onshore base here. Local businesses um, can look forward to having some opportunities to be involved in supply of goods and services for the project. Um, if you want some assistance in developing capability statements, please contact our business advisory services for some assistance. The department continues to provide a lot of on the ground support for businesses in Gove. Graham Caverne is on the spot in Gove and he's available to meet with local businesses. I'm happy to say that we've relaxed some of the entry requirements for our programs for businesses in Gove to make them easier to access. The next meeting of the Business Advisory Council will be held in Gove in early April. I'm looking forward to catching up with as many businesses as possible while I'm there. Regular watchers of the Business Bulletin may recall that last year there was a presentation on the Red Tape Reduction Advocate. Recently I met a business in Darwin who'd had successful outcomes from being involved with the Advocate. The business was involved in the maritime industry in Darwin and one of their employees let one of their occupational licences lapse. When they contacted the licensing authority, they were told that the educational requirements would need to be repeated. I'm pleased to say that the business contacted the Red Tape Reduction Advocate and a successful outcome was negotiated involving the company and the licensing authority. So if you've got a similar problem or just concerns about red tape in the Northern Territory generally, don't hesitate to contact the advocate. We've got a 1800 number you can contact. It is 1800 754 466. Our advocate is in a state of cat-like readiness waiting for your call. Until next month, thanks very much.